You've probably already forgotten about our fellow Stefan and his hamsterium. Meanwhile, it saw many changes. We had to make several rearrangements and plant new plants, because there was someone who was constantly devouring everything. Stefan, in his turn, continued living his life without knowing what awaited him very soon. One morning, a friend of mine brought his pet and asked me to look after him for about two weeks while he was away. He gave me a small box, marked with the name of his pet, Adolf. Cookie is mildly shocked by what's happening, but there was no going back and we had to keep him for an agreed period. We heard some rattling around in the box and finally, when we opened it, we saw this little creature. It was a hamster and it seemed to be the same kind as our Stefan. Don't be afraid, little one. At that moment, we thought the same thing as you. What if we introduce him to Stefan? Sounds great, but once I came across information that hamsters are solitary animals, so they very rarely can get along with other relatives. Considering the fact that Adolf is much smaller than Stefan, Stefan can easily hurt him. Although this guy seems brave enough and isn't even afraid of the cat. Before introducing him to Stefan, we decided to feed him a little, so he would gain strength. For the meeting of Adolf with Stefan, we prepared this arena. We thought it'd be better to construct the first meeting in neutral territory, so that Stefan doesn't think that Adolf wants to occupy his hamsterium. We sprinkle it with sawdust, as it is a habitual covering for them, and divide the arena with such transparent glass to prevent them from attacking each other out of fear. We put some food into the center from both sides, so that they would be distracted by it at first, but at the same time could see each other. Let's first let our chubby fellow Stefan in. And then put our new fellow opposite. Here comes the fun part. At first they didn't pay any attention to each other. But after a couple of seconds they both came to the center and began to look at each other. After another minute they show clear interest in each other. After all, it's the first time since Stefan has seen another hamster since his childhood. As they eat, Adolf looks directly at Stefan. Then they start digging sawdust towards each other, apparently willing to make a passageway under the wall. But then, they realize that they can hack into the system and just go around the wall separating them. So, this is their first contact. Perhaps Stefan wanted to launch a preemptive attack against Adolf, but changed his mind. Then they started sniffing each other, and Stefan pushed little Adolf away. But don't worry, in the animal world, such short scuffles are part of the language and communication between animals, helping to convey their thoughts and desires. Thus, animals make it clear who is dominant and who is subordinate, building the right hierarchy. A few minutes later, Adolf becomes sick of getting beat and stands up like a capoeira fighter, counter-attacks with a powerful spinning kick, making Stefan turn over on his head and realize that things aren't quite that simple. But here comes Cookie and the two little balls realize that their dad is in the building, so they have to behave well. Although Adolf doesn't seem to make any attempts to dominate Cookie. At the first sight, the hamsters seem to be friends, but let's remember they are in neutral territory now. And if we still have to put them both in Stefan's hamsterium, their behavior might be completely changed. After all, this is Stefan's territory. This time, we'll start by letting Adolf inside, because he's never been here before and needs at least a little familiarity with the location. He quickly combed his hair and did a reconnaissance lap around the hamsterium. The fact that he didn't make any attempts to escape and was firmly enclosed in Stefan's hut shows that he really liked the hamsterium as well. But it's time to meet the host of the land 
and now we'll see if they can live together. So, we let the two fighters in, while Adolf runs around the bushes, Stefan quickly occupies his rightful home. Adolf tries to get in there with the half fair, but Stefan shows him that he's not really happy about the idea. So Adolf brazenly gets into the house, and when he is inside, he tries to negotiate with Stefan to host him, and even helps to set up a common dwelling. Cookie is watching all of this, probably wishing to have his own friends and companions. Oh, don't be so sad, Cookie. Maybe you'll get one someday. But things are getting even more exciting. We installed the Hamsterium escape protection, together with a camera to film everything happening. They spend some time sitting together in the hut, chatting in their hamster language, and suddenly, Adolf kicked Stefan out of the house. This is outrageous. Stefan is shocked because this is his hamsterium, and he is the owner. But luckily, Adolf realized his mistake and began to ask for forgiveness, buttering Stefan in all ways possible. It went so far that after Stefan ran out to poop near the threadmill, little Adolf met him and wiped his butt so that he had it clean when entering the house. Then Stefan ran into the circle and showed him how he could run in it. Adolf ran inside the wheel as well, but it was too crowded for them to run together. I don't know why, but Adolf is running after Stefan. I think he feels guilty for kicking Stefan out of the house, and now he's trying to please him in every way. Maybe it's a kind of a hamster gesture of apology, but Adolf started digging the ground near the house and near Stefan, digging right under him. Maybe he wanted Stefan to fall into something. Adolf's behavior became quite weird. At one moment, we saw something inexplicable. When the camera started recording, Adolf was holding onto Stefan with his claws and lying beside him in an unconscious state. Perhaps Stefan punched him in the stomach, or he felt sick because of some sort of illness. It's hard for me to say what happened, but luckily, after 30 seconds, he felt better and got back on his feet. However, incidents like this didn't happen again, and I think this might be the rare case when hamsters become friends, get along with each other, and now can safely live together. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episodes.